Yo guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Kovacs Aim Trainer for Fortnite. So let me quickly explain what it actually is. Kovacs Aim Trainer is a fully customizable aim trainer that allows you to set up your own training scenarios filled with moving targets, which in turn will hone your muscle memory and improve your aim. Kovacs Aim Trainer can be purchased on Steam for around $10. To begin with setting it up, you first want to download the client settings editor zip which i'll have a link to in the description what this program does is it extracts your in-game settings which we will then paste into kovax aim trainer once downloaded you want to open a new file called something like kovax aim trainer and using the program like winrar or 7zip right click and click extract here then open up that folder and click run client settings.exe you then must find the client settings file in Fortnite. Now there are two ways of doing this. The first and the most reliable way is to go into the client settings editor program, click file, cloud import, and log in with your Epic account. This method is more reliable because Fortnite keeps your settings in a file on their cloud servers. So if you recently changed your settings, for example, those settings might not be there and might not be the most up to date as it's on your computer and they save them from the cloud and that's why this method retrieves them straight from the cloud servers so you know they're going to be the most recent so after logging in double click on client settings.sav and there are all the settings you need the other method is to open client settings editor program and click file then open and copy and paste this into the file box i'll have the command in the description so you can just copy and paste it over a subfolder with random characters should be there you may have multiple folders, if you do, just look through each one of them until you find a file called clientsettings.sav. If there are more than one of these files, make sure just to use the most recently modified file. After doing this, you can see all the true numbers for your Fortnite sensitivity being displayed. To get your sensitivity from Fortnite into Kovacs Aim Trainer, you can do this via a few different methods. Method 1. In Kovacs Aim Trainer, select the drop down menu called Fortnite slider, then type in your Fortnite in-game X and Y sensitivity. This method isn't quite accurate as Fortnite doesn't show the exact sensitivity on the sliders in-game. Method 2. In Kovax Aim Trainer, select the drop-down menu again, but this time select Fortnite config. Copy the mouse sensitivity X and the mouse sensitivity Y from the client settings editor program and paste them into the X and Y in Kovax Aim Trainer. This method is very accurate as the sensitivity is coming straight from your Fortnite config. Method 3. You want to copy your mouse sensitivity X and your mouse sensitivity Y values and paste them into this calculator slash converter, which I'll have a link to in the description below. Uh, what this does is it converts your Fortnite sensitivity into Quake sensitivity as currently that's what is being used in Kovacs Aim Trainer. Doing this step will make your Fortnite sensitivity 100% accurate and do the same with Y. So copy the Y value from the program and paste it into the converter, then copy and paste the Y Quake Champion value and place it in the Aim Trainer. Here's how to get your ADS sensitivity from Fortnite into Kovacs Aim Trainer. Copy and paste the mouse sensitivity X and the mouse sensitivity Y values, multiply them by the target and slow value. You can do this calculation by typing the values into Google like I'm doing right now. So to do this calculation, you just copy and paste your mouse sensitivity X and multiply that by the mouse target and slow value. And that will equal my mouse ADS X. Same with the Y, I'll copy and paste my mouse sensitivity Y and multiply that by my target and slow value. And that will equal my mouse ADS Y. Then simply paste both of those X and Y values into Kovax Aim Trainer. And that's how you configure the sensitivity. If you've got any questions about this, just leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to help you out. Now that we've set up the sensitivity, we can now move on to the resolution. To set up the correct resolution to match your in-game Fortnite settings, you want to go into video and select the resolution that you play in-game. For example, 1920 by 1080, 1600 by 1080, 1440 by 1080, etc. I'll be using 1920 by 1080 as if I choose another res, like a stretched res for example, my recording software will crash unfortunately, so I'll just stick with 1920 by 1080. This next part is about the FOV settings which depend on your aspect ratio. I'm going to assume that everyone's using the standard aspect ratio, 16 by 9, but if you're not using this just comment and I'll be able to help you out with the correct Fortnite FOV settings. So if you're using 1920 by 1080 or a narrower, 
res, such as 1600 by 1080 you must set the FOV number to 80 and set the drop down to clamped horizontal. Also set weapons and make sure that the weapon hidden option is checked. I'll be doing another video soon explaining all the different types of aim courses, scenarios and configurations that you can do and I'll also be showing what each Fortnite Pro uses for their Kovac aim trainer settings in the future. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Hope this video helps you guys out. Big shout out to Convertibles on YouTube and Reddit. His Reddit posts and videos help me a bunch when configurating this. So be sure to check him out. I'll have all his links in the description below. And if you'd like to support my channel, you can simply add me as your supported creator on Fortnite. And yeah guys, thanks for watching and peace.